Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to reset your phone so you can sell it. So here I have an iPhone 5S, a 6, and a 7 Plus. So maybe you want to get rid of these two or get rid of any of them so that you can get the next one. So let me move these two out of the way, and then we'll reset the 5S. So here's the iPhone 5S, and we're going to reset it so that it's like new, like the first time we pulled it out of the box. So what we need to do is go into settings, and if you have iCloud turned on and you have Find My iPhone turned on, you'll need to disable that before you reset it. So the simple way to do that is you just go to Settings and then General, scroll all the way to the bottom, hit Reset, and then erase all contents and settings. Now this will completely wipe the phone. So if you don't have this backed up anywhere, either iTunes or an iCloud backup, you'll lose everything on it. So just make sure that you have everything backed up that you'd like to. So the next thing we'll do is hit erase all content and settings. It's going to ask for the password. And we'll hit erase and then erase again. But if we need to turn off our iCloud settings, we can do that in iCloud, and this is running the latest version of iOS 10.3.1. And under iCloud, we'll scroll to the bottom, and you'll see Find My iPhone is on. So we need to turn this off first. So we'll turn this off, and then it's going to ask for my password. So we'll go ahead and enter the password. Once it's turned off, you put your password in. Now it's turned off, now we can go back to general and reset the phone. So we'll go to general, scroll down, go to reset, erase all content and settings, put in our password, hit erase iPhone again, and hit it again. It's going to reboot and it's going to completely wipe the phone. So we'll let this run and when it comes back up, it'll be a first setup again. It's not attached to any Apple ID or anything once you've removed it from Find My iPhone. So we're just waiting for it here. It usually doesn't take too long to completely erase the phone. It's a pretty quick process. So it's just zipping right across here. We'll wait for it. And this is actually a 16 gigabyte model. So if you have a larger size, it will take a little bit longer. And the other thing to note too, is when you erase this one, it won't touch anything you might have on another phone. If you turn things off individually, it can do that. But if you just wipe the phone, it won't touch anything else on any of these other devices. So feel free to just wipe it. You won't lose your photos that are here. The phone has rebooted and you'll see we're at the startup screen. So now we set it up just like it's a new one. We're ready to hand it off to a friend or family member or sell it or whatever we want to do with it. And it's not attached to your ID or anything. So that's it. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.